We are now evaluating lateral excursions. Here in practice, close your mouth please. We have minimal space in the medial part of the left cuspid. So we might have opted for a full veneer. Actually, however, the space at the lingual level is limited, so we'll have to go for substantial preparation. And I don't want to be aggressive. On the other hand, the patient can easily move his jaw to the left. A bit more, please. That's it. With a group function, possibly on the first left premolar. And we find this type of diclusion acceptable. So we won't change it, and we'll keep this guidance. Perfect. I'd say everything's fine now. Just another small touch up here. Let's take a look at the other cuspid. We'll prepare the two cuspids first. Since the patient's thicknesses are already okay, I'll try to improve the cuspid orientation since they were slightly rotated. That's why I'm preparing this central area to flatten out these areas here and have more even thicknesses. Dr. Freidani, here in the molar, we have a minimal sulcus, so it's difficult even to place the cords on the surface. Clearly, you mustn't push them in. You must place them very lightly. And if they won't get in, leave them outside. The cord is used just as a hemostatic, not to expand the sulcus. We haven't anesthetized the patient at all because we knew that for tooth preparation, there would be no problem, with the only exception of some cervical areas where dentine was exposed. But the patient had no problems at all. Cord placement, however, was a source of some discomfort for him. We might have anesthetized him, but we did not ask him at a certain point, and I understood he declined the offer, saying that he didn't need it. Clearly, later on, if you start to feel pain, maybe you're sorry and you understand you did need it after all. I always try to avoid the use of anesthetics, though, because I try to understand when I'm being too aggressive or too forceful, since the patient shouldn't feel any discomfort, and if he does, then I try to be more gentle in that area when I go back to it. Thus, the feedback I get from the patient tells me how to deal with the tissues. Fridani, can you see the buckle? Dental assistant, yes. Maybe with the color you see a bit less, you see. Let's remove the cords and let him rinse his mouth. 